What's going on, everybody? We're here to show you the level 10 spell slinger. I've got my friend Roland here because I really don't feel like this guy is overpowered at all. So, Double kill. with a little help from him, we'll be able to do this. And we'll uh, we'll try and figure out what we can do with this guy for you guys at at least level 10. So starting right off, as you can see, my one button is like everybody else's one button. Double and kill. it's just going to Triple be kill. a basic fire. You, it's called quick draw and you just shoot a few times. So nothing too special about that. But the number two is this guy right here. It's called charge shot. It has four different levels to it. You charge it all the way up. Obviously it does the most damage. Then you have your stun, which is this guy. It blasts, uh, blasts through them. Triple and lets you stun them for a little bit. It gets you, you know, to the other side of them, obviously, so you can turn around and you can do something like our number four that I have on here, which is a flame. What it does is a little damage over time, and uh, will get you that little uh, slow DPS that you need over time to kill things, for your harder enemies at least. And number five is just a long-term number one. It just shoots really quickly like that. And finally, the last move that I have keyed up here is a giant snowball. Oh, I think we killed every single thing in the, in the map, so... We'll run over to this right here. Get away from that user. And snowball! What it does is it snares people real quick. So, nothing too crazy. This isn't exactly what I like to do, but... Having troubles with people joining my channel. Anyways, now that we've had 67 people in and out of the channel, uh, let's take a look at some of the other moves real quick so you guys can see what you would have for an option if you wanted to. He has some uh, heal skills. This one restores 70 health to an ally. This one gives you some absorb, which absorbs damage. And this one heals, uh, restores health to yourself and four other allies. So this guy is a healer at some point, and you can choose to heal if you want to. We'll toss these on here real quick. And heal Roland. Drop some heal deeps. And you have, you know, some utility, some more uh, things to get you away from enemies. Back, you set. All right. Where's he at? You're going to see right here, your number four. Just a little heal that's real quick that way. Your number five. Just a little steady heal like that. And finally, you got this guy. A big old burst of vitality. Charge and release. So nothing overly uh, overly exciting at level 10 with this guy, that's for sure. I think he's one of the uh, least interesting champions that I've used so far, but I hear that when you get later on, obviously things get better. Here's a quick look at the amp system. All you do is click these little dots right here, and as you can see, you move further along down this way, and they give you whatever the corresponding thing says, increases armor pierce by 2%. So, unfortunately, I'm not overly excited about this guy, but at the same time, I know people absolutely love this class, so don't be too down on it just because I'm down on it your uh, thing that you use for your abilities is spell power and he's pretty much like everybody else his R is just a spell surge it makes you hit a little harder so double kill this is what you can expect out of this guy and if you choose the spell slinger you're probably going to be expected to heal at least once or twice which to me is the strangest but either way that's the spell slinger hope you enjoyed the video if you did like and if you want to see more subscribe thanks